good morning students in the earlier video of lesson number 15 i environment we had discussed about food chain food web ozone layer and its depletion we'll just revise it before starting the other topics so what is food chain food chain is a chain formed by living organisms which are dependent on each other for their food requirement in that the producers are considered to be at the first level of the trophic level and after that consumers and then decomposers we'll just take an example to understand the interdependence of animals for their food requirement grasses which we are able to see on the ground or the land is eaten by grasshopper grasshopper is eaten by the rats and the rats are then eaten by kites or hawks so it shows the interdependence of food requirement of the living organisms on each other next is food web a complex net which is formed by the interdependence of animals for their food requirement of different ecosystem is known as food web next is ozone layer and its depletion as we have studied earlier 50 km layer 50 km distance from the earth's crust a layer is obtained which is known as the stratosphere that stratosphere contains stratosphere contains ozone layer which protects us from ultraviolet rays so first of all how ozone molecule is formed when the single molecule of oxygen absorbs the ultraviolet photons it gets broken down into single oxygen atom by the process of photo dissociation then this each oxygen atom combines with that of the oxygen molecule present in the atmosphere and forms ozone molecule the formula of ozone is o3 it protects us from the ultraviolet rays it helps the human beings from this harmful rays next is the factors which are responsible for ozone layer depletion the first is the chlorine atom one chlorine atom can decompose up to 1 lakh molecules of oxygen second factor is cfc which is the most important factor because it accounts 80% of the ozone layer depletion full form of cfc is chlorofluorocarbon the next content is freon freon is present in the refrigerator and ac which is also responsible for the ozone layer depletion hope all might have got the point now moving on further the topic which we missed in the earlier video that is biological magnification due to the uncontrolled use of pesticides and chemicals in order to control the crops or protect the crops from pest and other agents the increase of this chemical in the soil as well as water which is fed up by the plants body is eaten by herbivores and carnivores as these chemicals and pesticides are not degradable it moves successively or progressively to each trophic level this phenomenon is known as biological magnification i repeat due to the uncontrolled use of chemicals and pesticides in order to protect the crops from pest and other agents causing harm to it these chemicals get accumulated in the soil and water which is entered into the plant body which is eaten by herbivores and carnivores as these chemicals are not degradable it gets accumulated to each trophic level this phenomenon is known as biological magnification The next topic is managing the waste which we produce so question arises what is waste 
waste is the unwanted unusable item or the household garbage there are two types of waste solid waste and liquid waste in that the liquid waste can be disposed very easily in comparison to that of solid waste the solid waste include vegetables fruits scales bones etc now the two types of waste on the basis of their decomposition are biodegradable waste and non biodegradable waste biodegradable waste is the waste which can be decomposed biologically that is examples vegetables and fruits whereas non biodegradable waste are those waste which cannot be decomposed by biological process examples glass glass cds etc now studies suggest that at an average an human being is able to produce half a kilo of garbage every day this garbage takes up a precious part of the land on which we live studies suggest that if this sort of generation of waste takes place chances are there that the near future our children and grandchildren won't be having a quality life so what are the steps which we should take to reduce the waste first is buy loose fruits and vegetables and avoid packing second is do not buy disposable items such as razors and pens use reusable napkins buy reusable carry bags from the supermarkets use rechargeable batteries don't throw the clothes instead donate it to the poor reuse the back page of the papers which are used as scrap paper hope you all might have understood the steps to reduce the waste this concludes the chapter now moving on to the assignment of this chapter which you have to conclude in your notebooks so the first content is answer the following question define environment environment is the interaction between the living organism with that of its physical surrounding or in other words when the living organisms like plants animals and human beings along with their physical surrounding interact with each other it is known as environment second question on which factor does the environment of various place vary the factor on which the environment of various place vary is its soil type climate and topography next question is define ecosystem and name the types of ecosystem ecosystem is the system in which you are able to see that the biotic community come along with its physical surrounding or in other words the system which is formed by the interaction of biotic community along with its physical surrounding is known as ecosystem there are two types of ecosystem terrestrial ecosystem and aquatic ecosystem terrestrial ecosystem includes grasslands forests and deserts whereas aquatic ecosystem includes freshwater ecosystem and marine ecosystem moving on to the next question that is define ecosystem and explain the components of ecosystem as we had seen earlier in the earlier question that ecosystem is the system formed by the interaction of the physical surrounding with that of the biotic community biotic community means the living community like plants animals and human beings there are two components of ecosystem biotic and abiotic as we have seen already earlier itself biotic means living abiotic means non living in biotic factors you will be able to see producers consumers and decomposers whereas in abiotic components we will be seeing climatic factors as well as adaptive factors 
biotic compounds in that producers green plants are able to prepare their own food by the process of photosynthesis so they are considered as producers the second is consumers in that primary consumers are herbivores secondary consumers are carnivores and then omnivores so if we see consumer herbivorous animals eat the plants and gain nutrition and energy they are eaten by the carnivores which gain nutrition and energy by feeding on the herbivorous animals omnivorous animals feed on herbivores and carnivores now when this animals die they get decomposed with the help of the decomposers known as fungi and bacteria they completely convert the complex form of the food into simple form and gain nutrition next is the abiotic factor in abiotic factor you will be able to see climatic factors and adaptive factors climatic factors include the climate temperature humidity light whereas adaptive factors include soil structure and composition of the soil the next question define food chain and food web as seen earlier the chain which is obtained by the interdependence of living organisms for their food requirement is known as food chain what is food web a complex net which is formed by the interdependence of animals of different ecosystem for their food requirement is known as food web next question what is the advantage of ozone layer to human beings the ozone layer protects the human beings from the harmful ultraviolet rays it prevents the harmful ultraviolet rays to reach the earth right about the factors responsible for the ozone layer depletion there are three factors which are responsible for the ozone layer depletion let us see one by one first is the chlorine atom one chlorine atom can decompose up to 1 lakh molecules of ozone second that is cfc chlorofluorocarbon is considerable to be the most important factor for the depletion of ozone layer because it depletes nearly 80% of the ozone freon which is present in refrigerator and air condition is also a factor for the ozone layer depletion next question define biodegradable and non biodegradable waste with one example each biodegradable waste the waste which can be decomposed by biological process is known as biodegradable waste examples vegetables and fruits next non biodegradable waste the waste which cannot be decomposed by biological process is known as non biodegradable waste example the cds glass etc next question is define biological magnification due to uncontrolled use of pesticides and chemicals to protect the crops from pest and other agents causing harm to it the chemicals or pesticides gets introduced inside the soil and the water when they are eaten up or it gets introduced inside the body of the plant they are eaten up by herbivores and herbivores to carnivores here this chemicals or pesticides are not degradable so you are able to see that this chemicals get accumulate in the different tropic levels in a progressive way this phenomenon is known as biological magnification the next is write the steps to reduce the amount of waste which we have already discussed that is buy loose fruits and vegetables avoid packaging do not buy disposable items such as razors and pens use reusable napkins buy reusable carry bags from the supermarkets use rechargeable batteries do not throw the clothes but donate it to the poor reuse the back of the papers as scrap paper hope all might have understood and will complete the notes in your notebook